Hi there. Welcome to your message. You need to hear pick a pile style. <laughs> uh, this is pile one, two, three, four. And I've used uh, four or five different decks and I'll be using these and um, as well as a couple of uh, decks at the end. So go ahead and pick your pile. Um, same type of stones on all of them. So it's just what you fancy. Uh, this is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it will certainly take into account um, what's going on with all of us right now in, re in regards to Ronageddon and our shelter and place and whatnot. Um, by the way, I hope you're all safe and staying um, close in close contact with those that you love, if not physically, uh, somehow maintaining open communication and support with each other. That's very important right now. <laughs> um, this, this could be your person's moon rising or Venus sign, but I think this more might be more that it could be switched. Since we're not doing specific signs here, it's more that it could be reversed and that's entirely possible to be talking about your person's what your person wants to hear from you versus what they want you to hear from them for this type of um, pick a pile style. <laughs> I love that that rhymes. <laughs> okay, so I trust that you picked your pile and we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with pile number one first. Okay, so put that Wheel of Fortune. I almost started shuffling these out of habit. Let us get you up here. Hanged Man. Nine of Swords. Three of Cups. Knight of Swords. Death. And the Queen of Swords. This could be Libra. Uh, we got Scorpio. Gemini and Pisces right here. You know what? Let me, let me do this. Oopsie. Pardon me. I forgot about the bottom of the deck here. Let me do this. Justice. All right, so that could be Libra also. Okay. So, the, okay. All right. Is this someone that knows they've got to get an issue they're dealing with under control and they're going to try as they might to do it, but this is about you not giving them... Oh, I want to say it's about you not giving them any more chances. Um, because I think they're wanting you to, for, for the people that I am reading for, for pile number one, I think they're wanting you to leave this as an open-ended thing and to give them another chance. Um, they know they've got to get a handle on something, but I think your chances for them need to be done. You need to get your own, you and yours back, um, not under control, but that's where your focus needs to be on you and yours. What's this? What's this hangman here? This hangman. Five of Pentacles. What's this nine of swords? This nine of swords. Whoopsie. Seven of wands. And this is all kinds of crooked. Let's let's do better. Oh gracious. I feel like this is kind of okay. Seven of Wands. What's this Three of Cups here? This three of Cups. Knight of Swords. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, this is somebody who's struggling with something and they're. The, okay, so that's what it is. There's Ronageddon right there. 
They're wanting to get to you, but they can't. They're wanting to, it, it complicates things. They know they've messed up. They know that they have uh, given the chance they would want to apologize or at least to, to have things balanced or to be able to atone, but they can't. They, especially um, for them having done something that could endanger you as well. I'm talking about in light of the recent uh, environment out there, they've exposed themselves, whether it's to um, STIs, whether it's to just being out and about and among everybody when they shouldn't have been, but they have, um, they've exposed themselves and you've had to, because, lest you, you uh, affect and infect you and yours. So there's had to be this separation. We got swords here. This could also be that they've um, been doing some shenanigans or something shady online. And they know that they've done wrong. But this Ronageddon has provided kind of a natural break between you two. Like you're forced to be, um, and in light of what they've done, you're just like, no, you cannot come near me. Like literally, physically, I cannot, you, six feet, six feet, because you you're going to put me in danger so you know being sort of selfish and being like but we but we need to talk yeah you're on the outer circle now you just did something that could affect and expose more than just you this is shelter in place this is staying apart and thinking about things that need to be thought about and examined and being just about done and this person's like i know i did wrong i know i did but I, when this is all over, I'm hoping that you'll still talk to me and they're not doing well with not being able to atone or explain themselves. That doesn't mean that you should let them or that they should be able to. Just because they're not able to handle not having access doesn't mean that they need to be granted access. This is someone that needs to get in control of their affairs. Um, this is someone that kind of has, they, they tend to be pretty impulsive. For the, the pick a pile style people, I'm ready for the, the pile number one people. Um, you're dealing with someone that might be quite impulsive and while they're sorry, there's no real plan to fix it. They might be full of ideas and you know promises and wanting to make it right, but they, they're big on the wow and not the how. Oh gosh, I just realized that you're all the way over there. Oh dear. Well, I hope you were able to hear me okay. Golly, eight minutes in and I'm... Okay. So, let's see. Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords about? Two of Swords. Is that impulsivity again? What's his death card about? Eight of Cups. What's his Queen of Swords? Queen of Swords. Page of Swords. It says ten of what says ten of wheel. <laughs> This is Wheel of Fortune here. Six of Cups. Okay. All right. Okay, so I just stopped it to make sure that the sound was okay because um, that, that would not be good. <laughs> so I'm back and we're good. Uh, it, I didn't notice any difference on my end. Like I played it back and... Um, everything sounded okay, so hopefully, like, you didn't even know that it, I didn't have my mic on me. It was on my desk. So, anyway, um, okay, so, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, and the thing is, is that you've got a new relationship coming in anyway, um, you've got, you've got someone coming in anyway, so you're not, you need to be done with this. No more second chances for this one. This one, they're kind of, 
um, a little upset right now and they're kind of thinking that this isn't over over that they can quite possibly somehow you know what and I, this is going to sound really random and weird but it's almost like they get in there they start talking to you and then they kind of start blaming you for being so upset with them and not being understanding about what they're going through there's some kind of element to as soon as they can get you to start listening to them again they're going to slowly slowly start like wordsmithing it around to where all of a sudden you feel like you owe them another chance or you feel like you owe things and you don't you've got something else coming in you're walking away from this to walk towards something else so you've reached a turning point it's just a matter of finally accepting that and um and there's an element here too of not wanting to like this is a long time issue this is probably a very karmic tie we've got the six of cups here with the wheel of fortune but you've got this also coming in for you not for them for they still feel like they have a chance that it's, it's done for now in light of rona geddon and you do you know it's been building up and but this is also somebody that does this in cycles that kind of does this and then is able to come back in and work it so that you'll get another chance and you feel like you owe them one but you've got someone else coming in um, I know that this typically doesn't mean that, but intuitively and with the way everything else is right here, you've got something else on the horizon and that's what you need to be looking towards. And it might be that because I think this, I think your person though, I think they know that this is the last time, like they, <laughs> you done messed up AA Ron. <laughs> this is like the last time that that was going to happen with you because they're, it's like they're, there's something, they're nervous. They're nervous. There's something about knowing that this is it. And you seem to have made up your mind also that this is, it's like no more. And so you've got something else that you're walking towards anyway that's coming in that you're going to be ready for, that there's going to be a change in direction for you also. Um, it's going to be much more, um, just so you know it's it's gonna it's gonna be a good thing it's gonna be much more to your liking somebody that's much more balanced this one is not very balanced this one right here they they're sorry and they know that snap but then if they're challenged they're not sorry so sorry not sorry kind of applies here they're not they they have trouble being called on their business and they need this is somebody that you're gonna need to have firm boundaries with because they're gonna be coming rushing back in trying to say they're sorry and um and if you don't accept it, they're going to be like, oh, it's like that. Oh, really? And you're like, yeah, you know, I, I think we're done. I think we're good. And they're going to think, okay, you know, I can, I can let it stew for a little bit. I'll think I'll leave this for a couple days or whatnot, but you're already going to be, there's this feeling that they think that you're going to be, they're going to be giving you space, respectful distance and space, you know, cause it's only going to work in their favor, right? Like they just really want to make sure that you're okay. And then come to find out when they come back in to kind of go in for the whole, like you guys always have done for the people that I'm reading for, this is kind of a pattern, a cyclical thing. Um, and you're going to be involved with your new person probably um like you know by the middle of the month if not there's like a stretch between like mid-april to um, mid-may and i honestly i don't know how it's going to work with rona getting but there's a new situation developing and you're already going to be underway with that and you're that's when your person's going to re-enter and it's it's funny because usually this is somebody that's like mad and they want to say, you know what, you, you did this to me and if you apologize for this, well then maybe, or, you know, they want you to know that they're fine now. And no, this is somebody that's like, man, I hope this isn't, isn't it. I hope that they know that I'm, um, I, I hope I can get back in there basically. And, and we do that dance like we always do. You know, we go back and forth and then they somehow wordsmith it to where you kind of feel guilty and you allow for it. And it's like, you're here to tell them, uh-uh, no more. This Rona Geddon has given you separation also from this to see the shenanigans and see it for what it is. And this is about restoring balance and you making the decision, like, no more. Um, 
this is it. You've got something else new waiting for you anyway. And this is going to be much more appropriate and balanced for you. And this needs to be done. And you're going to have to be the one to, um, you know, say, yeah, we're really, really, yeah, really, really, it's really done. And you're going to have to have those boundaries because this is someone that's not really going to want to accept that. Okay. It's like they're, so it's, it's not sorry, is it? It's just that they're nervous thinking, oh, I think I did it one too many times. Oh God. And it's because there's a, there's an element of it being unsafe here. There's an, a safety issue now. Like that this person would risk everything and then just be able to expect to reapproach. And you're like, no, no, especially now. No. Oof. Just for pile number one. Pile number one. Mm. All right. I don't know if you can see that. The devil that could be Capricorn. That's um, that's the matching sign. Okay, so that yeah, this is one of those things where it's almost like you're you're kind of over it. You're just over it. You've got other things you're um, wanting to move towards, and this needs to not have a hold on you anymore. You you don't want it. It's not good for you. You've got something else coming in anyway that you're, you, that's going to be, it's going to be very eye opening when this new thing hits, this new person, uh, situation hits, it's going to put into perspective this and kind of put that on blast in the sense that you're going to be like, Hey, wait a second. Um, not that you're going to want to be too preoccupied, you know, with this, but, um, for the new person, but, um, yeah, it's just, it, you need to get out from under this situation with them. It's just an ugly dynamic. And staying just because of longevity or for the kids, that can be worked around, uh, especially if it's for the kids. There's other ways. You, you don't have to be sentenced to staying with someone just because you have children. And, you know, I know I'm preaching the choir. What else, what else here? Gaia, wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. Good Lord, that's not a metaphor right now. So this is about you having come full circle. We got that knowledge here. We got that understanding. We got that knowing, that wisdom that comes from disappointment and be, having been there before and round and round we go and no more. This is a five. I think this is a five. Nope, this is a four. Five. Okay, so did I do that one? I did that one. Okay, so this is about you being in separation and staying in separation to heal and to safeguard and to do what is best for you and yours. This person coming back in or being able to work their way back in, they put you and yours at risk. They put you at risk emotionally, yours at risk emotionally. Um, not to mention, you know, issues of exposure. So, oh, for pile number one, pile number one. Oopsie. Gosh. That's for pile number one. Okay, so we've got eight of cups reversed, right? Yes? Wait. That one always throws me off. Yeah, it's eight of cups reversed. Okay. Um, and the fool reversed. Okay. So there's that, wa whoopsie. Hi. There's that walking away. Um, you're just, you're over it. You're not stuck emotionally anymore. You're just over it. There's no new beginning. It's too risky. It's too risky. Meanwhile, this is your person not knowing what to do and being like, well, wait a second. That's not what we do. I come back and then we tussle and then I get to tell you things and you listen to me and then you let me back in. That's how we always do. And it's a bumpy ride, but that's just us, baby. That's our dynamic. We're creating. No, no, no. Don't baby me. That's what this is. One too many times. And so it's like they, <laughs> they would want you to, it's almost like this is, um, They can't get to you now because of the distance, because, you know, social distancing and whatnot, but they're chomping at the bit to get back in there and to reestablish the dynamic that you two have, and you have different things in store for you. And some of you might already be talking to that person um, online or, or maintaining a, a connection that way with the new person. So it's already kind of up and running by the time 
um, this person actually is able to physically approach you again, it's a lost cause because you just, you're going to see things differently. You're going to be very interested in a new opportunity, whether it's business or just dating. I, I think it's dating. I don't think this is business. I think it's somebody, a romantic interest that you are starting to really talk to and your person is thinking that they're giving you respectful distance, um, not even reaching out online perhaps. And that's, yeah, it's just one too many times. Okay, all right. Okay, so that was pile number one. Thank you for stopping by. This was a bit drawn out, but I'm calibrating, so I, I don't do these pickup piles very often. I might start though, but anyway, thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you um, in the next reading that is coming out in a couple days. All right, you take care. Okay, so. Hi, <laughs> this is for pile number two. So here we go. The message you need to hear. Oh, before I do that, I want to do this one. The Sun card and the Four of Wands. Nice. That could be Leo. Um, Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> death. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Death. This could be Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Four. Okay, so we got fours here. Four of Cups. Page of Cups. Six of, six of Lovers. Okay, the lovers, Gemini, Taurus, or Libra, and the page of wands. All right, so let's see what's going on here. We have a marriage. We got two fours, three fours, one, two, three. And two pages, full house. Some time to think. Well, that aren't, don't we all have that time to think now, right? Some time to think. There's been trouble in paradise, shall we say. All right. But everything is kind of, and I don't mean to make light of that, but everything is kind of just up in the air right now. I mean, holy cow. We've got Rona Giddon throwing a wrench in the works here. All right. What's this Knight of Sword? No, Knight of, what is that? That is Knight of Pentacles. Okay. This Knight of Pentacles could be Taurus. This Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Well, okay then. What's this Death card about? This Death card. Strength. Okay. What's this Four of Cups? Page of Pentacles. All right. What's this Page of Cups? Lots of pages here. Someone's made a change. There's there's a, well, okay. Again, in lighter run again. There's change going on here. What's this Page of Cups? Five of Cups. Okay. What's this Lovers about? Pile number two. What's this Lovers about? Whoopsie. Maybe it's my camera's closer. But okay. Three of, okay, three of pentacles. Both of you are in um, separation or you've talked about it. And this is in hopes to restore. Your person doesn't want things to end. I think they're hoping that um, this is going to be transformative, that it's going to be the time that you need. It's like a blessing in disguise. I think they're kind of hoping for a miracle here. 
Um, I, I, I think they want things to be restored. I think they want things to, I think they want you to be, you two to be able to weather the issues going on right here. Um, and you, but you both need a rest and you both need a timeout here. This is you two laying low to reconvene after whatever this is blows over. I don't think it has just to do with uh, Rona getting, I think schedules are getting tangled up. I think there wasn't enough time for you two to see each other. And I think just there, things were coming to a head anyway. And then with this Rona getting going on, it kind of forced you two to stay in separation, but you're still talking. You're still talking. Your person, um, well, you might not be still talking. From what's showing, if, okay, I should say, it feels like you're still talking because this person's feelings haven't changed and the effort is there. The, the, um, the wanting to do more, the, the desire for more is there. So this is someone that is hoping that while you two can't really be active right now, they still are hoping that nothing has changed. And if anything, that this distance or that, that things having to be on the, like laying low right now, but kind of being sequestered effort and all that, um, it will have a transformative effect that like, we're still good, right? We're still okay. Like we're going to come out of this. We're going to heal. We're going to be stronger for it. We're good, right? That's what it feels like this person's um, feeling like. What's this page of wands? Three of cups. this sun card about this is you two getting a reset honestly for the pile two people this is a reset then your person's hoping for a reset they're hoping that you can come out of this both of you renewed and that there's still like a shred of hope or the they really want to capitalize on that this is a sincere effort they're really hoping that you're going to be willing to do that and they want to know um that they're still tribe they're going to want to know that that you still have space for them and that they're still tribe. What's this sun card about for pile two? This, well, hello, sun card about for pile two. Seven, okay, okay. so, <laughs> so yeah, things are up in the air right now, aren't they? But again, the, across the board here, this is someone that is just wanting this reset. This isn't about it being over. It's about let's everything just stop right now Everybody calm down, everybody mobilize. When this comes out, we're gonna pick up where we left off and I'm and to boot, I'm hoping that there's this is them saying, I'm hoping that this has given each of us a new perspective and like just and I hate to to say that like, well, you know, when this is like there's an arrogance that someone, you know, it's not gonna touch us, but it'll just serve as a horrible warning and that we survived this and we're stronger for it. I hate to minimize what's going on like that, and I don't mean to, but it's almost like a Hail Mary here. I think your person's hoping that this is just where absence makes the heart grow fonder or delay makes the reunion all the more sweet, that type of thing. This is someone hoping that with the time apart or things being stagnant, it's given a lot of time to think and that you would be willing just like they are for this renewed effort. They're not wanting to admit it to themselves though. That's the thing. They're they're not wanting to. Um, they'll come around to it, but it's almost like they're trying to convince themselves, but they can't. They're they're kind of losing that one, losing the battle on that. They they don't want to uh, admit how they feel, but they'll get there. <laughs> they'll get there. They, it's just they. There's a lot that they, both of you are processing right now. They don't, it, it, there could be some pride here too, like not wanting to have to, they're going to make the first move. They're going to reinstigate. They're going to reinitiate. They're going to, but the way they feel right now, they're a little, um, I don't know. It, it's like they're, they're, they're just, they're thinking about it a lot. They're thinking about it a lot. They're thinking about you a lot. This, and I, I think that where what they how things are left is like, okay, let's just stop, stop. But they don't want to, they don't want that. 
think they're really hoping with their, each passing day, they're really looking forward to whether they want to admit it to themselves or not. They're really looking forward to working this out with you. Pile number two people. <laughs> they really want this to, um, they just want you two to find some common ground again and then start from there. Like this is a reset. Okay. Oopsie. Let's do this one. What else for? Pile number two. What else for this reading? King of Swords. Yep, there's that deliberation and the thinking about things and okay. This one. This could be Gemini. I said all that, right? Um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Right. This, this could be talking online. I don't think so, though. I don't. I don't think that this is talking online. I think this is you two doing what you need to do, and then with each passing day, like it might. It just. It feels like at first it was like, yeah, but the the more time goes on, this person's like, you know what? I don't want to stop there. I don't want it to leave it lie there. I want this to make us better. Number two. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart. There it is. Yeah. Okay. So they're just, I think they're just hoping that you'll, you're going to, no, that's not going to work. Be on the same page here with, because there's a lot of thinking going on and they're not, they're trying to make sense of it. And at some point they realize they need you to help them make sense of it and they don't want it to be over. This um, is seven and this is seven. So this is some, they're just thinking, 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 and they're thinking about you and um, they don't want things to be the way it is. This could be that things had to stop just because of Ronageddon, but it could also be that things, you, were, you two were kind of yeah, doing, the, there's some issues before and you decided to take a break or it was kind of heading that way anyway and then run again and happened and now it's like oh, okay they this is someone who's hoping for a reset okay so now this trial number two trial number two there's that four swords okay so well i guess it's like this isn't it four swords and one two and one. Oh gosh, I really should write the number. Nine of Pentacles reversed. So four of swords. Yeah, this is a timeout that you two needed. Things were getting kind of hectic and just there was so much going on. And this is not to say, oh, thank goodness for the, you know, but this is, if you want the reset, it's there. Your person wants it. They want to pick up where you left off and they miss you. They don't want to admit that they miss you more than they expected they would. And they, I don't think they want anything to have changed. Okay. So that's pile number two. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you safety and health and I hope you're with your tribe and your loved ones. Um, and I hope to see you in the next reading and you take care. Stay safe. Pile number three. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hope everybody's staying safe out there. All right, so what is the message you need to hear? Pile number three, people. Okay, what's the message you need to hear? Oh, the sun. 
I'm so happy for that. That keeps coming up. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> okay. Let me just write down some timestamps here. Okay. I can be Leo. Oh, I'm happy to see that. Ooh, High Priestess. Um, could be Pisces or Cancerian. Libra, no. Uh, Justice, which is Libra. Two of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Page of Swords. And Two of Pentacles. No, yes. Ooh, Two of Pentacles twice. Look at that. Well, okay then. Right, there we are. Hmm. Okay. This is, is this somebody that's got a lot on their plate here? What's this? Well, could go either way though. What's this? All right. What's this justice about here? This is justice. This is justice. Somebody overreacting? Who's overreacting? Okay, two of cups. It says two of pentacles. Two of wands. Look at, good gracious. Okay. Two, two, two. Two. Whew. Two. Two, 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 two. Good golly, two. What in the world? All right, what's this 10 of pentacles? What's this 10 of pentacles? So things are tense. Things are tense here. What's this 10 of pentacles? Somebody overreacting. Well, okay, let's consider Rona Geddon overreacting, shm overreacting. That might be a valid response. Everybody's, you know, kind of freaking out right now. What's this 10 of pentacles? King of Pentacles, that could be Virgo. So, all right. For the pile three people I'm reading for, this is, what's this Seven of Swords though? What, wait, what, 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 this is someone that, all right. I think this is someone waiting on your decision. Honestly, this is someone that is going to stay the course. This is someone who's not going anywhere. And if I remember right from the first reading, um, the second one, they're hoping for a reset and a recharge. The first reading, oh, the first reading was you having to put your foot down. Okay. Well, not you, but someone had to put their foot down. But it's funny because usually when I read these, it's like, oh, no, they think that you were this. Or it's like, well, geez, you know. But across the board, these, this is the third one because there's four. Um, that has been someone going, okay, I do want back in there. The first one, oh, if you pick the first pile, ah, that's, that one was a bit rough. Um, second one though, this is someone that is after time, they're just like, you know what, let's do this. We got this. We can get through this. It's you and me. I, I don't want things to stop. And this one is someone saying, I haven't changed. Nothing's changed. We're good. I'm still, I'm going to provide that stability and that safety. And I, I, it could even be that they're going to be telling you they're sorry, but this is someone that wants you to know that I got this. I got, everything's going to be okay. I'm going to be, and maybe that's because for the pile three people that I'm reading for, you're kind of freaking out because there's this feeling of like intensity and tense and, um, someone's overreacting or I, I hate to say overreacting. Someone's really concerned here and someone's really like got this heightened sense of uh emotional reactivity right now what's page of swords what's this page of swords about yeah okay all right this whole thing feels like someone trying to calm you down pile three people <laughs> it feels like someone's going it's okay it's okay it's okay Remember who you are. We got this. Remember what we can do. Remember us. Remember we, everybody, this, you need to, that's what this is saying. Your person wants you to know, hey, 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 
we're gonna be okay. This could be Pisces or Cancerian. Um, I think too, instead of you reacting or being at that heightened state, there's something about them wanting you to talk to them about how you feel. They want to, they want you to let them back in. This is someone that's, if you would give them the chance, they're waiting to reassure you, but th there's this, um, they feel like they can't, well, okay. I was gonna say they feel like they can't get to you. Maybe that's because they physically can't, right? But this could very well be that you need to open up to talking to them online or being, um, being open to that, that this doesn't have to be, it's for them. I think it's far from over. This doesn't mean an ending at all. If you're worried about that, this is someone that wants back in that wants you to let them back in though, because they're chomping at the bit to tell you how they feel and to, to, to tell you that they're unmoved and unchanged, but there's some hesitancy or some frustration or just some urgency here. And it could very well be that you, for the pile three people I'm reading for you, your attention is seriously elsewhere, handling other things. Um, perhaps your person feels a bit powerless. Like if I was there, I could so help you. I would so do this, but I can't. And they're worried that with your attention and everything being so distracted that you're going to kind of forget about them or you're going to be so traumatized because of this, that there's not going to be a place for them when this all is over with. So this is someone that, I think they want back in. What's this two of pentacles? Whoopsie. Okay, well that jumped. Two of pentacles. Five of wands. Talk to me. Get Tell me something. So are you not talking to them? Is that what this is? You're not talking to them? They don't want this to be over. What's this two of pentacles? Golly, these are so encouraging. Usually, I mean, well, the first one, hmm. But usually these are like, oh, they're this and that, and they're, you know, mad or not. That's not the case here. All right, what's the Ace of Pentacles. So, okay, what's this Two of Lady? This is a High Priestess here. What's High Priestess about? We got two ladies showing up here. It could be male or female, but, but <laughs> somebody's coming to lay down the law. What's this High Priestess? And both of them are twos. Balance, balance, page of wands. Okay. So for the pile of three people I'm reading for, things are quite chaotic. Now it could be that you're trying, you're having to manage a lot and what you just got started with someone or what you were dealing with someone got put on hold and they're not really doing that well with it. Um, they want to be, it's like they're trying to find a way to get to you. And they, they want you to know or they want you to really understand and be on board with you two still being a thing and working on things or progressing after Rona Geddon, you know, becomes a part of history, basically. This is someone that wants you to reach out to them more or communicate with them more to kind of let them in. They feel cast out. Um, they are they feel shelved or they feel pushed off to the side there's something about them going if i could help if you just let me and this is someone that if you would they want back in there so just saying it's it's going to be your call i don't i don't know if they did anything wrong it's, it feels like they're coming from a good place so it doesn't feel like they're they're shady this feels like someone's wanting to really show you that they can and that they will and really show you a side of them that maybe you haven't seen before if things were just getting started, but they really do want to make it known that they, I mean, we got stability all over the place here and, and things being kind of up in the air. But if you were to give them a chance, they really would want to show you that they can be that rock that they can just give you some sense of security or stability. Are you upset with them? Because this is you deliberately. There's yes, your attentions are scattered. Like you're kind of having to help or deal with other things for the pile three people I'm reading for. You're busy. You're busy. 
So, cause there's the idea that if someone's not talking to you right now, it's cause they don't want to, because basically what are any of us doing, right? We're all sequestered. But for the pile three people I'm reading for, there are other things going on. Um, but there's a sense that you have kind of deliberately put them off because you're wanting to deal with something internally first. Like you're wanting to figure something out. And I think they sense that. And I think that's why they're like, look, just talk to me. What's going on? Tell me what? And you're just like, no, I, mm -mm. I need to figure out how I feel first before I tell you, because I want to come from a position of advantage here. Like I don't want to, you know, sound childish or I don't want to just be lashing out or coming from a place of disarray like I don't need to delve into that so it's either that you shelved your feelings or you're dealing with this very privately and your person feels shut out what else for else for pile three people eight of cups all right so that doesn't feel like walking away this feels like you're waiting till everything calms down and then that'll be when you're able to it's almost like enough time will have gone by to where you'd be willing to address things with this person again, whatever that means as far as picking things back up or telling them what's what. But I think you're waiting for this to um, die down before you deal with them. You're keeping things pretty mm, right now. And they're like, okay, I'm just going to sit here and, you know, not going anywhere. I'm just going to do my thing. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. Just, it feels shelved. Something feels shelved. What else for pile three? Doesn't have to be, though. Oof. Oops. Loss, grief, sadness, and resurrection. I, put, I don't want to cover anything up, but... Okay, there. All right. Okay, so then are you dealing with is it related to them though, or did they get pushed to the side so that you can deal with the major things going on in your own life right now? And you've had to shelve it. You've had to, I can't tell. I can't because this person is, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think they might be clueless as to what's like how deeply you're hurt about something or how you feel about something. And they would, they would want to fix it if they could but you're not letting them. Maybe it's that you've got so much going on and there's some sadness and trauma with where you're at that they couldn't fix it anyway. And you're like, I don't want to burden, you know, the connection with that. I don't even want to think about that right now. I've got this to deal with, whatever. Just so you know, that what I say, two, two, um, two, 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 two. <laughs> so this is, there's a lot of chaos going on right now and you're, you're doing your level best to keep things calm and to be a rock the pile three people I'm reading for, but it's getting to you. And I think this person uh, knows that and they want to help, but they can't. And then they wonder and what's going on and but da, 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 and you're just like, I need things to be calm and I don't need you coming at me too. I just, I need to deal with this right now. And I, I cannot, it's almost like I can't help you, you know? And I don't think you want to be that way, but I think things are so now that it, you're having to kind of take that hard stance. Like, I'll get to you when I can, but I'm really encumbered here. Okay, so I did that one. I did that one. Pile three people. What else for pile three people? Pile three. I'm sorry about this. King of Wands. King of Cut. Oh, gracious. King of Wands and King of Cups. We got the High Priestess and Justice. Ooh, okay. So we've got you. This really, you really are, um, for the pile three people I'm reading for, you're, you're the stabilizer and the normalizer and the mediator and the handler for your circle, your tribe. And this person that you're dealing with is on the outside looking in. This could be Sagittarius. This could be Pisces. And I think they're wanting to help. And I think for the people I'm reading for, I think you're, um, and I think you know this, I'm probably preaching the choir. You're going to come back around. You know, this isn't over, but you need to not be thinking about this person right now. They've, they've hurt you or there's some sort of sadness 
here, but you're not really, you're not ready to walk away from it. It's just that you didn't need that hurt or sadness while you're dealing with all these other things with your tribe or your circle, you and yours. You didn't need that compounding it. So that one's in like the timeout corner right now. And you're just like, I'm going to deal with mine. You can sit there and wait because I've got this to handle. Don't bring that business right here. I can't deal with this right now with you and this. I can do one or the other, not both. And this is where my focus is going to be. And you're going to wait. Now, maybe you haven't said that, but that's kind of how you feel. And for the pile three people I'm reading for you, this is you wanting to kind of address this with them when it's over, but not until all of this is over, not until you and yours are firmly okay. And then you'd be willing to go, okay, you know, now let's you and I discuss this or whatnot, because um, you're not ready to hang this up yet. You're not. And this is someone that if you would give them a chance, they, they want to show you all the ways and they want to talk about, you know, how, um, let's fix this or I can do this or let me explain that sort of thing. I think this time of you focusing on other though is good because it helps you process your feelings about that. It's kind of therapeutic in a way, not minimizing any trauma or drama, but it's, it's a shift in focus that is going to be beneficial just to kind of parcel things out for you. Okay. All right. Stopping talking. Um, thank you for stopping by. I hope this was helpful and I hope you're safe and with your tribe and you are loved and I hope to see you, um, in the next reading. Okay. You take care. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> pile four people, hello. <laughs> um, this, uh, as you know, this is your message you need to hear um, reading. So, let's get started. All right, message you need to hear. The tower, that could be Scorpio. Don't you worry. We're going to see what that means. Figure it out. Okay. Oh, the fool. Oh, well, okay then. Two of Pentacles. Judgment. Look at this. Two, two. This happened in the last one, too. This is seven. Okay. I'm going to put this over here. All right. Judgment. Empress. This could be Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, or... Sagittarius, this could be Gemini, Aries, or Virgo. Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, that could be Capricorn. And Queen of Cups, that could be Cancerian. Okay. Okay, dokie. This could be Taurus or Aries, also. Capricorn, Cancerian. Okay, right. It could be male or female, also. So, what's this Two of Pentacles about? Because, what's Two of Pentacles? We might have pregnancy here. It's this Two of Pentacles for pile four. The moon. Uh, could be Pisces or Cancerian. Judgment. So, you know, suffice it to say, things might have just turned on its side here. And you, you both quite possibly are grappling with the changes. What's this? 
what's this uh, empress here dealing with? This empress here. All right. Five of cups. It's this ace of cups here. The hanged man. Wow, these this is amazing. All, all four of these are, well, I shouldn't say all four, at least, and this one doesn't feel any different. This feels like if you let someone back in, um, they will, but it's going to be your call and they will respect your wishes. This is someone being very respectful and being like, I want to make this up to you. I'm sorry. Um, but it's going to be your call. What's this Queen of Pentacles? This Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. And they're, okay. Hmm. What are they sorry for? What are they so, but, but okay. All right. So wait a minute. They're sorry, but they're also holding you responsible for something also. Like what is, okay, I'm sorry, but you this and that, whatever. Like, it's like they don't want this to end or they don't, what are they sorry for? What's this Queen of Cups? That's odd. What's this Queen of Cups? Five of Swords. What's this Fool card about? This Fool card. The hermit. Okay. Well, that's, you know, that whole shelter in place, right? Um, so the, the idea that any kind of communication or movement you have with this person got stalled, they're not happy about it. They feel like there's unfinished business and they're still wanting to deal with this situation. It's like right when you two started having kind of um, problems or the, this whatever issue came out that kind of was very explosive, the whole shelter in place started snowballing. That that kind of took on a life of its own too. So Ronageddon, what I'm affectionately uh, calling COVID-19, um, Ronageddon happened right around the same time, like within a week-ish of you two kind of having something really catastrophic, quite possibly, or just hurtful happen to the relationship. And so your person is also holding you accountable for something. And I don't know what that is. We could have... Um, we could have cheating, a cheating situation here in a, um, a pregnancy because of it could be one possible solution, but not solution uh, interpretation here, but there's something that they're sorry for, but they feel like you need to be sorry too. And they're not right <laughs> right now. Like they're, they're not, um, very happy about this. And I think it's their wish and hope that you would talk to them and that you would deliberate your feelings before you make any rash decisions. This is, honestly, this is very interesting because um, this, usually with these readings, this, you know, spread the message you need to hear. This is someone you know, telling you the business because of how you hurt them or this or that or whatever. There's some, a lot of times there's not really remorseful feelings or anything like that. It's like someone's like, you know what, I'm washing my hands of you and this and that. This isn't that. This is someone that hopes things are uh, in suspension and they'll do what you ask for now because they have to, right? Because of, you know, what we're all going through, what's going on out there in the world. Um, but this is someone that doesn't, even after that, if you want to let things go, they don't want to, but they'll respect your wishes. They're hoping that you just want to for now because of Ronageddon. But if you want to afterwards, um, they will respect that. They are not happy about it. They would like to, um, talk to you. They would like you to want to talk to them. They would like you to figure out your feelings and then want to talk to them. But this is, mm. They don't, they don't want this separation. Did I say Pisces or Cancerian? Pisces. I did. Okay. And I think what's sad about this is that they're hurting. And so they're looking to you to kind of help soothe that. Like they don't want this to be, 
um, over, but, or they don't want things at least to be suspended, like they, because you would be what would help and make them feel better right now, but, um, it just, for whatever reason, you two can't be around each other, not, Rona getting notwithstanding, you two are in separation. And it's just someone that's staying away because they have to, but they don't want to. And they're really hoping that this isn't going to be used as a natural break. Like, well, Rona get it happened and then we just stop talking or what they don't want that. But here's this, what's interesting here is that they're going to respect your wishes. They're sorry. Um, they are doing what they're supposed to do. They're going to respect wishes. They're, they're trying to, you know, heal a broken heart and mend here, but they're really hoping that you'll be open to picking things back up again when Rona Geddon dies down and when we can all come out of our, you know, shelters. <laughs> this is someone that's really hoping that you would be open to that. They will respect if you're not, they'll leave you alone. They'll, but this is someone that, um, is not, would like it to be different. But this is also someone that is willing to accept your no or your indecision as a no and leave you alone. This is not someone that's going to push. But they, they sure do miss you. I mean, that they, they miss you here. What else for pile four? King of Wands. Could be Sagittarius, male or female. This is Sagittarius also. Cancer or um, Scorpio. King of Wands. So the decision will be yours and it's going to be you doing, uh, making that decision. Spoiler alert. Um, it looks like you're going to want to leave things as it is. And when you come out of this, you're still not going to have a decision for this person. So I don't know. I mean, unless you want to, right? But what's showing here is that you're, you're still going to be deliberating how you feel. And it's going to be primarily on, it, can I have a future? Can I, can I trust this person? Can we have the stability that um, I want? Because so what happened was something about stability here. Something, namely, someone might have cheated or someone might have, um, there might be some cheating here. We got two of pentacles and the moon. And this is like, can I trust this person with my feelings? Did they do something to, I mean, I've got water here. Gotta get water. Um, it feels like there's the issue of trust and stability and security. And can you rely on this person? And are they going to cheat? Or are they not going to cheat? So I could see why you're deliberating, you know, your feelings are like, I might just have to kind of look to the future and keep keep on moving and just kind of keep to myself even after all this is over. Just do my own thing. Keep going. Don't want to lose any ground because, and maybe that's where they're like, I'm sorry, but this and that too. Like you weren't paying attention to me or you, you weren't, you know, we weren't getting along or I didn't know or like they, it almost feels like they're sorry, but they want you to understand why what happened happened why either they did what they did or why they feel the way they, like how they see it. They need you to understand that. Huh. Okay. Interesting. But at the same, and the thing is, it's, this isn't someone that's going to give you the silent treatment and punish. They don't want to leave you alone. They don't want to leave this alone, but they will. They'll be respectful. They're not going to, you know, be a berserker or anything, but they, they really do want to at least have a chance after all this is over, at least one last chance to talk about things or for you to hear them out, for them to listen to you, for them to tell you they're sorry, for them to explain and to be understood. The choice will be yours. The choice will be yours, how you want to handle it, whether you just want to move forward um, without them. It doesn't look like you've reached a decision when this is all over. It will be your decision but it doesn't look like you'll have reached one. Um, maybe even after you do listen to them, if you decide that you're still not convinced or you're still not sure, it's going to be up to you and your situation. But it just, it feels like it's, you're 
Hmm. Yeah. It feels like you're still deliberating and that you're not wanting to let them back in until you sort what you want out or how you feel out. Which is reasonable, especially if we're dealing with some untrustworthiness here or, you know, dishonesty. All right. What else for pile four people? Pile four people. Whoopsie. Holy cow. Evolution. Earth changes, climate change, transformation. <laughs> okay, so the fact that this is um, with the Earth... Talking about security here, security is stability, um, longevity for the future, that sort of thing. This, you know, the connection here to um, what's going on in the world right now, as far as, as a planet, is not lost on me either. But for the purposes of this reading, this is about things being able to evolve as they should. Um, is there going to be security and longevity for you two down the road? And it looks like, honestly, you're like, you know what? It, it feels like you're going to be like, I'm going to have to, this is a hard pass. And your person's like, okay, I understand. You can reverse that if you want to, but it just feels like you're going to want to not go back or backtrack because there was some dishonesty here that you're not, you just don't see how that could factor into you two progressing. Which is, you know, reasonable, a reasonable assumption. Else for past okay. Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups. All right. So, mm. this could be that you just leave it lie, like you don't even reach back out. You don't even. I. I I think we got deception by third party here. Um, you don't even bother to address this. You just kind of bow out. You don't even, or your person just bows out. But either way, there's there's leaving it where it is and just walking away from it. Much to your person's dismay. It could be that you finally come to a decision and you're like, yeah, no, it's not, it's not going to happen. I don't want to go back to being a couple. I can't trust you. I just want to do my own thing. It could be that you don't even bother reaching out or responding. You just don't look back and you're on your way. Okay. The choice will be yours and your person will respect it. They're not going to push. They're not going to come chasing after, but they do, they want a chance to be understood and they want to, they don't want this to be over, but they will respect it if that's what you want. Okay. All right. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you are with your tribe and you are safe. You are loved and I hope to see you in the next reading. All right. You take care.